we're at a point where students are beginning to think hard about how they're going to actually get into the professional world and how they're going to network their way into jobs. And without the networking, there will be no opportunity. And I think it's possibly one of the more challenging things that the average student's got to get their heads around. Once we've done our London Study Week, the students are already beginning to network. But the DNAD show is, if you like, our, the culmination of our networking for the year. I mean, Kingston has built up a relationship with DNAD over many years, which has been hugely positive. And I think from a student point of view particularly, it's a really exciting and important relationship because it feels as if it's an important bridge between the worlds of education and industry. It kind of means to us a talking to people and actually getting contacts and being able to get a list of people together who we can ring. In sort of the last half an hour we've had at least sort of two or three people come over and be interested um, in particular pieces of work. So there's a lot of sort of industry involvement to be honest. There's nothing else like this and for a lot of universities, especially universities that are in like sort of remote parts of England or in like really far away from London, this is a brilliant way of getting those universities to come together in one place to showcase their work to everyone. You interact with other students from courses, you can gain sort of ideas and incentive and um, enthusiasm from that. It's just the whole thing's absolutely electric. The idea of New Blood is to kind of get our students to look at what the industry is about, what other colleges are about as well. I think that's quite important for them. Although this, is, this event is a showcase for uh, student work and the very best of student work, we also want to find and create an environment where ideas can be tested, challenged and explored in new ways. The great thing about DNAD is its education background. I went to Manchester Poly and we used to travel every Wednesday down on the bus. People thought we were mad for a six o'clock DNAD workshop. Via that I got to see, uh, I went to TBWA actually when I uh, saw Alex Ayuli. Placements, book crits, eventually jobs of course we hope, are always the end result for, for at least some of our teams um, of contacts that are made because we're part of the DNAD network. What's great for students, particularly through DNAD, is the access they get to people in industry who they might feel slightly in awe of in another situation. And suddenly being able to get kind of face to face contact with people at New Blood like this, um, but also know that their work is seen through the DNAD Awards, through a, a range of experts that they would never normally get exposure to, is, I mean, it makes them raise their game. I believe in what DNAD stands for. I think it's important to have an organisation that helps bridge the gap between education and, and the profession, that stands for, for creative standards, that is prepared to get up and fight for creative standards and lobby in the right places and to, to recognise and celebrate and even evangelise creativity.